Welcome back to The Pulse, everybody. Brought to you by DeMarco's Italian Restaurant in downtown Rochester. My name is Neil Rule, the voice of the Golden Grizzlies. We're here uh, with a guy who, who's taken the Oakland basketball community by storm. He is the point guard, J-Mo. Jalen Moore joining us. And Jalen, appreciate you uh, taking your time. I want to dive right into it with you, Jalen, because uh, you're a guy, I mean, you, you've been a shot you know, you, you've been a shot of lightning, like a bolt of lightning that, that's come through this program. Uh, your play style is electric. I, I know you don't get caught up in this and, and getting to know you, you're more of a I, I do guy as, as opposed to I say guy. But I mean, just what, what about that, Jalen? You, your style of play, let's just start right there. I mean, you are electric. You bring speed to the table. Um, yeah, I feel like that's one of my best attributes to the game is, you know, I'm, I'm undersized, so I got to bring speed, you know, get past my defenders and set my teammates up and take it from there. Jalen Moore joining us here on The Pulse. So, Jalen, what about that? I mean, I do want to get your take, too, because it's been interesting for me because I'm on the road with you guys. I'm in these buildings, and some of these plays that you make, and we talk about the electricity of your game, do you miss being in front of fans, whether it be home, whether it be on the road, just because of you know, the oohs and ahs, some of the plays that you make would get, and you feed off that, right? Like you're, you're a human being, emotion comes into play, you feed off that. Has it been difficult for you to, uh, to go without that? Um, I think it has a little bit, you know, it's different, different from every, for everybody. Um, but like, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's, it's a lot. It's, it's not pressure, you know what I mean? I feel like going out there in front of all these fans, a lot of pressure on you, but nobody being there, you know what I mean? It's no pressure on you, but, um, you know, at the beginning of the game, sometimes it takes me a while to get going because there's no fan, no noise. Um, but I think I'm starting to get used to it. And then uh, our teammates teammates and coaches, staffs getting used to it. So uh, I think we're just taking it day by day. You got to get the juice going yourself, uh, I, I guess. I guess you would say. Uh, but Jalen, you know, you, you talk about that and the excitement, the level of excitement of playing in your schedule that that you have played so far uh, certainly has been exciting in terms of the the quality of the opponent. You guys are taking on the best teams in the country, and uh, we'll get into the Michigan State game coming up this weekend in just a couple of minutes. But what was it like for you? And and, and I always gauge these things right with me because. I, I had a little bit of extra juice on Wednesday night. I had a little bit of extra juice in, in the Michigan game because you know who you're going up against in Oklahoma State and Cade Cunningham, probably the number one player picked in next year's NBA draft. I mean, that, that's that got to get the juice going for you, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure it does. You know, having an opportunity to be on the floor with a person like that, a player like that, definitely gets you going. But um, I don't look at them as, you know, that type of player. I look at them as – you know, just another player I go up against. Um, just another team I'm going up against. I don't look at the name. I don't look at the name on the jersey, you know. I just try to play the best of my ability to get a, a win for us. Jalen, about you personally, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this known, bring this to the public a little bit. One of the things that really strikes me about you, when we leave a game, you go up to the front of the bus and, and you're watching film, like right away. You, you get with the coaches and you're watching film. You want to see what's going on. I don't know that I have seen a competitor like you in this program before. And, that, and that's, that's high praise because it, there's been a lot of competitors that have come here through Oakland. You are about this process, man, at least what it seems like to me and watching you, how you go about your business. This isn't playtime for you. Like you, you're, you are deadly serious about this. You're looking to improve your game at any chance you get. W would you agree with that sentiment? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I got the opportunity of a lifetime. Coach Campy, um, you know, you don't see many opportunities like this. And it's it's one I jumped on right away, and I know I got to do my job the best of my ability. But, you know, watching a lot of film and studying my, my teammates, you know, where they like the passes at, um, how they come off the screens, you know, um, stuff like that. Um, you know, studying them and studying myself and studying the opponent, opponents, you know, what I can do better, what I could have done better, um, you know, because I, I want to be great. You know, I don't want to be good. I want to be great. And, and I know nobody's perfect, but I want to try to get to where I'm perfect. You know, every play is just boom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stuff like that. 
No, certainly, certainly I, I do. And, and it takes a while for some people to realize that you look like you're walking in right to that, it, what it takes to be great. As you talked about, speaking of great, the opponent this weekend, the number four team in the country, the Michigan State Spartans. Uh, it seems like they go to every other Final Four uh, every year. One of the greatest coaches to ever do it in Tom Izzo. But Jalen, getting to know you, I know what's going through your mind when that ball jumps up. What do I have to do to dominate this basketball game? And, and certainly they're, they're one of the traditional powerhouses in the history, uh, really, of college basketball. But when that ball goes in the air, uh, you're looking to take them apart as best you can, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't look at them as the number four team in the country. or The numbers honestly don't mean nothing to me. Uh, you know, once that ball goes up, everybody's zero and zero. So you just got to go out there and play your best to your abilities. Um, you know, get your teammates involved and, you know, give them confidence early in the game, you know, so it translates over throughout the whole game. Uh, but, yeah, when the ball tips up, it's everybody zero and zero. Certainly another national television opportunity for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies basketball team. Jalen, certainly do appreciate your time. You've been watching The Pulse, brought to you by DeMarco's Italian Restaurant in downtown Rochester. My name is Neil Rule, the voice of the Golden Grizzlies. Thanks for watching, everybody. Well, see you later.